Hey friends, welcome back. TCL In Your Town is celebrating Apple Valley, a city with 51,000 very proud residents, many of whom came out today to hang out with Elizabeth. Uh, she's live at Bogart's <laughs> Entertainment Center. Boy, Elizabeth, what a fun atmosphere. That I mean, it looks like there are so many people there. I mean, it's unbelievable, Steve. We have such a huge crowd here at Bogart's. It's been really fun to get to come back to the place where I grew up and celebrate Apple Valley. So this morning, I got oh, yeah. up early so that I could make it on time to high school, okay? I went back to my alma mater, Apple Valley High School. I got to check out some of the amazing things they're doing that I would have loved to get to do when I was in school. And frankly, I saw that the place is getting a whole new look. Check it out. So here we are, we're back at my old stomping grounds. This, my friends, is Apple Valley High School. Go Eagles! And I showed up to my old high school with my senior poster so that we can take a little walk down memory lane. Oh, here's the Greek theater. This is an important place. Oh, this was green when I was here. Hi, buddy. This is my friend Jeff Flugum. We went to high school together. And now he teaches him. here. We're going into Mr. Flugum's classroom. It's very entertaining because the last time I was in a classroom with him, I probably had a class with Tell him. Tell me what you're teaching. What are you doing? Social studies. Uh, I'm teaching U.S. history, criminology, and uh, survey of U.S. history. I went to Apple Valley High School. I sing the fight song regularly on television, so if you ever just want to hear it, you can always tune in. Remember when we were like the cool kids? Remember how fun we were? Yeah, you were cool. Jeff was on the football team. He was like the coolest. He hung out with all the cool guys and he played college football and he was a year older than me. So I thought like Jeff is really cool. Yeah, we, we tried. Isn't it funny to think about like when we were this age, I was looking at a guy like you and thinking this guy is so old. This right. guy I know. is I, ancient. I, I, every day I kind of wonder about being the old guy now in the building. I'm like, is this, is this really where this I am? This is you. Longer? All these kids are looking at us right now and they're not thinking that we're cool. No, oh they're no. just thinking no, no, no. that we're old. No, no. no. Yeah? <laughs> he called it that guy. He said, "No," and his voice got real firm. It's time to just. He we went from like happy Bill <laughs> to like don't mess with me, Bill. <laughs> So I actually got my start in television right here in Apple Valley, and Apple Valley High School was such a huge part of that. I was part of something called the Mentorship Program here at Apple Valley, where students are teamed up with a professional working in the field of their interest, and they get to spend an entire trimester with them learning about the industry that they're interested in. Mine happened to be television, so I spent three months at a competing television station, which shall not be mentioned, but did make my senior poster, and that's how I got my start. When I walked into Apple Valley, I couldn't believe the facility that they have now that did not exist when I was here. Well, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Eagle Eye. I'm Elizabeth Reese. And I'm Antonio Lugo. We have a great So show. this is a weekly newscast called the Eagle Eye? It is. It's something we do every other week. We like to spend one week doing reviews um, of the story so the kids really get an idea of how to critique themselves and critique their peers. And then we start on the next round of stories. I mean, spring break's only nine days away. What are you talking about? You guys have spring break. Okay, what are your plans? What are you doing? Well, the baseball team's going to Myrtle Beach. You wonder what I'm doing for spring break? Yeah. yeah I'll be working and taking care of my children. <laughs> Another fun fact about my time here at Apple Valley and how that led to where I am today is that I am not the only Twin Cities Live host who's an Apple Valley High School alum. John Hansen, the original host of Twin Cities Live, also went to Apple Valley, and he's a big part of why I'm at Twin Cities Live. When John and I met at the TV station, we connected that we both went to Apple Valley. He asked me to do some fill-in work on Twin Cities Live, and then the rest is history. And this is where my friend from high school who will not be named would hang out and smooch your boyfriend. You know who you are. We try to not have that happening <laughs> as much as we can. <laughs> See, Bill was a student here. Now he has keys to the castle. Uh, to the whole place. This is really cool. Yeah. I mean, this has always just felt really cool and big. It was people, well done. People come here and check this out, and this is such a unique space for a high school yeah. theater. Most high school theaters look pretty much the same, big proscenium, raised stage. Yep. To have a, what they call a thrust floor mm -hmm. in a high school theater is really unique. Oh, Those we're going to go into the gym. Yeah, there might be some stuff going on in here, so we'll hopefully not get hit by like a dodgeball or anything. One time, I was on a badminton team for a gym class, and our name was the Lawn Ornaments. And he has Batman! Batman is happening! You can see all the state championships, lots of good hockey ones here at Apple Valley. And I would be, somebody would be sad if I didn't point out that these are only state championship banners hanging in our gym. We don't hang second place in the section banners or anything like that. Uh, third highest number of state championships in the state of Minnesota, or maybe even second. So we're pretty proud of that. Everybody's having fun. 
You know, the real important part of Twin Cities Live visiting all these communities and featuring them in TCL in your town is getting to know what makes a community so special. I have a, such a special attachment to this place because so much of my life started here. In fact, a lot of the girls that you'll see on this senior poster, I'm still best friends with. These are girls that I was in their wedding, they were in my wedding, our phone calls back in this day was all about like, what are we gonna wear to homecoming? Who's going to the powder puff game? What are we gonna do for spring break? Now we text each other and meet up for happy hour to talk about what swaddle are you using for your baby? When can we get a girl's night? What thing is going on in your marriage? So throughout my whole life, these are the people who have really been there. And that's what makes Apple Valley so special. Good job, bud. And here it is, my friends, the senior poster. My mom made this for me, and I found out that at Apple Valley High School, they still have these posters, that they still use them, and uh, the, the graduating class, their parents make these posters for them, and they're displayed in the school, and I've had it ever since. It is very, very fun to get to look back at some of these memories, and I had such a fabulous time at Apple Valley High School, Steve. It is so funny to go back, <laughs> and you get that kind of same feeling of like, oh, I'm familiar here, but I'm a little insecure. <laughs> <laughs> high school, it sounds a whole lot like high school that was fabulous shout out to all of the uh, fine folks there at apple valley high school for their hospitality and showing you all around that was very enjoyable for me to watch thank you so much elizabeth we